NFT metaverse, Web 3.0. These are a few words which often we have been listening in the 21st century. A lot of people keep on debating about this world of NFT, the world of metaverse. In fact, if you surf on Google, if you surf on the internet, I'm pretty sure you must have heard or at least come across this terminology. Uh, there are two different set of people. One, which strongly advocate that yes, metaverse, NFT, Web 3.0, cryptos, they are here to stay. They are going to be the future. While there is a different set of audience who completely states that this is a fad. This is just for a momentary basis, it's going to be over here. And after a certain period of time, this is going to completely leave us. So I thought, why not to come over here and discuss that what if Web 3.0 stays over here, this advanced version of technology actually stays over here, how would our future turn out to be? Ladies and gentlemen, I am Abhishek Kar, and I've been into the markets for more than a decade now. I have been dwelling into a lot of asset classes, be it equities, be it cryptos, be it NFTs, etc. And I've seen the market in and out. I still say that I'm an evergreen learner and with my social media platforms, I try to educate people about various nuances involved in finance. So that is precisely what I do on YouTube, Instagram, wherever I'm getting time. And today I thought, why not? Let's discuss on this huge platform about the future possibilities of the next generation that is Web 3.0. To begin with, this entire story dates back to 1989. 1989 was the time when WWW got introduced to the world, World Wide Web. Now, at this point of time also, there were a certain set of academicians who straight away said, no man, this is not going to stay over here and we should completely ignore this fact. While there were still some set of techno geeks who said that no this is going to stay over here this is going to turn out how we actually look into the technology and how the commerce actually takes place and believe me all these techno geeks were actually correct they had actually had a vision that yes this is going to be the future and that certainly happened until 2004 when in a conference web 2.0 another new word was coined and this completely took away the world by storm what exactly happened over here was world got introduced to new ways of collaboration. World got introduced to new ways of doing business. World got introduced to new ways of doing marketing. Today, what we see as the social media, the world of wikis, the world of blogs was actually a byproduct of the formation of Web 2.0. Again, at the same point of time, a lot of skepticism was there. A lot of people were doubting whether this is going to stay over here or not. But ladies and gentlemen, as you guessed it right, we are still hooked up on that Web 2.0. Today, because of Web 2.0, let's see what basic changes it did, despite the sort of criticism it faced in 2004. Well, today, by sitting at the vicinity of your own residence, you can simply order your favorite food. It could be anything. It could be paneer. It could be pasta. It could be anything by just clicking one button on your cell phone. Not just that. It also changed the way we actually do the commerce. Commerce in this sense, you might be pretty sure that before this era, most of the transactions which we were doing, we were doing it physically, physical money, physical currency. But thanks to Web 2.0, today we all are doing majority of our transactions on a digital landscape. So no doubt about that, that Web 2.0 had a significant impact on the minds of people and also the way commerce has actually been taking place. But you know what's interesting? Now the world has got introduced to something even further innovative and further interesting and that is Web 3.0. So now that we have built up a context about how this entire thing actually evolved, let's just imagine for a while, what if this Web 3.0, which again at this point of time, some people say is a fad, some people say is crazy, it's going nuts, but what if it stays over here? And you know, Based on the data, based on the statistics which people have been going through on and on on the internet, as well as a newspaper, as well as so many billionaires also advocating it, I wouldn't be astounded if I see that, yes, it is here to stay. So we are going to take a few cases about how Web 3.0 can evolve over the period of next decade. The first thing, let's talk about the grand scale of events at which things actually take place. When I'm talking about events, recently we got to know in last one or two years, 
there have been several celebrities there have been several pop stars there have been several influencers who took on to metaverse and they had their own rock concerts again a lot of people actually doubted whether this is going to be successful or not but it actually became huge success not just these celebrities earned in monetary terms financial terms but also audiences also got an advantage you must be wondering how well during pandemic when everyone was locked inside their houses just because of this advent of metaverse it was fairly easy for fans to watch their celebrities and not just watch them also feel and have that vibe by sitting at their houses and simply through an access to metaverse now just imagine if the same thing starts evolving from here what could be the future possibilities well i wouldn't be surprised if larger scale events also start taking place in a similar fashion what do i mean well large scale sports events large scale concerts large scale maybe world cups you never know and there would be another advantage when i am talking about web 3.0 it's not just metaverse there's another concept called non fungible token and i'm sure you must have heard of it nfts which is completely unique it's in proposition and it is not interchangeable in the sense it's unique into its core identity now just imagine for a moment what will happen to the winners of these teams who will be playing the world cups on the metaverse instead of getting those trophies instead of getting these uh, medals they would be bestowed with these nfts what would be the advantage today when you actually take away a trophy it is interchangeable it might get lost it's very hard to maintain at times until unless it's not kept in a museum but then with nfts everyone knows that yes this is the rightful owner of this particular event this particular victory and this remains unique with that kind of person so can you just see this landscape at which events will actually take place would completely change not just that the businesses would also change and when i'm talking about businesses i'm talking about the celebrations also let me tell you how so today when any big conglomerate house they actually tell that yes we have reached our 50th year we have reached our 100th year in order to celebrate that do you know what they do they go through various newspaper publications they go through articles and these days because of web 2.0 they run a lot of advertisements but with the advent of this web 3.0 things are certainly going to change and you must be wondering how well the very first thing which is going to happen over here is these companies might recognizing the power of nft which they have already started doing so there are big multinational giants who have started considering this thing as an option but in the future i wouldn't be surprised if more such companies would come introduce this nfts and even offer these nfts to their employees there is a dual benefit to this thing company completes its 50th year celebrates in a unique form of nft on a digital platform so it's not necessary that if the company has a headquarter in one city and it has offices in 50 other locations it's not mandatory that all those 50 location people have to come at a place they can all at the vicinity of their houses or their offices with access to metaverse enjoy feel and get the vibe of the entire event and now when these employees also get gifted in terms of nfts these non fungible tokens these employees would be compelled to work harder so that the company also grows and eventually the value of these nfts also moves up so that's a distinct advantage with these companies will actually get and since i'm talking about companies the companies also do one thing which they are quite famous for and that is my dear friend creating a good shopping experience for the customers and that would also possibly change because of web 3.0 how but well, today we all know that whenever we need to order something it's very easy you go to your cell phone or your tab or laptop you just have a few clicks and you get these things ordered but have you observed that the scale at which you order low ticket size products or services is quite higher on a digital platform as compared to larger things so you wouldn't see a lot of people constantly getting into you know buying a lot of furniture fixtures or large scale almiras refrigerators etc do you know why because still people have some doubts they want to touch it they want to feel it before spending a little more money out there but with metaverse 
that gap can be filled because now by sitting at your place by having those gadgets in you can simply feel you can touch you can find the comfort of that sofa and accordingly you can actually order your products and services so that is going to change this thing not just that even world is moving a step forward in terms of their avatars so for now you have avatars but in future you will have avatar clothing you will have avatar sunglasses so in the sense you can completely feel your specs by ordering online and you can also have a distinct advantage that you can see how thick that spec is going to be how solid is the material and everything and that would be possible only and only because of metaverse and since i'm actually talking about all these brands i'm talking about these companies of course these companies keep on hiring people right the hiring process might also see a change and you must be wondering how very simple when i'm talking about the experiences for this thing today when someone has to go and appear for an interview that person has to carry a bunch of documents that person has to carry a suitcase filled with documents and now what happens is once they have all these documents and everything they go over there the interviewer also at the first point of contact cannot identify whether all these documents are true or not for this purpose my dear friends the companies actually hire third parties who actually run some several checks and this costs a lot of money as well as time now for a second just rewind and let's just imagine the person who is going for the interview has nft of his certificates that is unique identification is attached to it which everyone can access within a second on their laptops now don't you think the amount of time required the amount of efforts required would be substantially reduced and that is precisely what nft could do not just that think about startups startups are the places which are the most innovative whenever any new technology actually comes into an existence and it's quite sure that startups were the first one to adopt and preach about this world of web 3.0 cryptos and all so they have an early mover advantage now just imagine for a while today startups in order to allure the right talent they are actually offering esops that is employee stock options over the next decade if web 3.0 keeps on growing at the scale at which it is growing i wouldn't be surprised if in the employee stock option gets replaced by some unique set of nfts now these nfts will have more financial value now these will have a good digital presence digital value and since i'm talking about digital i also think about how many millionaires and billionaires were made on this entire landscape of digital world we all know that in today's time there are several millionaires who have made tons of money because of digital world and they are the first one who are strongly advocating about web 3.0 you know what's interesting about these millionaires and billionaires they always like to show off you know and there's always a status war which is going amongst these people they always are checking how many cars the other millionaire has having and how many cars do i have how many paintings in the auction did this millionaire bought and how many can i afford to buy because this is just a number game and just like auctioning is suiting to their psychology don't be surprised if the same game shifts to nft and in fact it has already started taking place there are a lot of rich and elite class people who are trying to buy as much of nfts they're trying to buy as much of these things so that they can gain a lot of value in terms of status symbol and there are some people also who are buying these unique crazy nfts and you know why it's not because they probably think that this is going to shoot right away but they are also keeping in mind that in near future when these millionaires and billionaires would be up right there for the auction these will be the ones those who bought at a very low cost can actually indeed sell it for a very high price so that's the way when commerce can take place but not just that if you are talking about companies millionaires and billionaires there could be one more thing one more angle already few countries have adopted something similar but on an nft and metaverse scale there could be something different and what could it be it could be that your crypto wallets or the nft wallets or these metaverse based things can get connected with your contacts now it's very simple in web 2.0 a lot of people don't want to interact with a couple of nuisance creators we call it trollers in today's time because they completely steal our peace of mind of course web 2.0 has also given us an option of maybe block this person or mute this person but you know if someone is completely after you that person will always find his or her own way to trouble you but you know what exactly can happen with web 3.0 this gets streamlined 
because everyone has a unique identification code so everyone might get a reputation rank and based on their reputation rank you can clearly decide that okay anyone who is falling below this reputation rank i don't want to have any sort of contact what does this do it saves your time it saves you trouble from having conflicts with these kind of person plus you will have more quality conversations even on the world of media channels so can you just imagine there are plenty of opportunities which are being laid down upon us because of the world of metaverse and nft but since i'm talking so much about nfts and metaverse being a financial educator it becomes my inherent responsibility to also speak and tell you that yes there are some risks also involved with this particular asset class just like all the uh, other asset classes be it equities be it bonds be it anything for that matter have some sort of risk even this has some risk what are those first it is a relatively new when, uh, concept when compared to the other uh, uh, other existing asset classes so that brings one risk and what could be the other risk other risk is that people are not much aware about these concepts they straight away either hate this concept or they completely go nuts about this thing but you need to understand just like every asset class this could be volatile this could have its own risk but there is absolutely no harm to get yourself educated to get yourself learning about the mechanism on which blockchain actually works this world of nft works and the world of metaverse works absolutely there is no qualms about it so i thought why not to take this opportunity to guide you to help you to see the future how things could actually turn and before i leave you i would leave you with this thought that no matter how many people criticize web 3.0 we can't deny that it is certainly going 10x almost year on year the kind of volumes it is bringing the kind of participation it is bringing across the nation is unimaginable and with this kind of scale i wouldn't be surprised if this keeps on growing time to time time to time time to time so ladies and gentlemen even if you don't like it it's high time that you should start embracing the concepts of web 3.0 because in my context in my thoughts i think web 3 is here to stay thank you so much